All right, now that we have all the basics down, you guys are probably like, let's create a freaking game. That's what I signed up for, and uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a Brick Breaker game. So let's go into our scenes, and we're going to create a new scene, um, or I'm sorry, our file, new scene. And let's save this scene as uh, Brick Breaker. Um, and again, under our scenes folder here. So now what we need for a Brick Breaker game, if you guys remember that little sheet here that I set up, we need a brick, a ball, wall, and paddle. We're just going to create one of each of these objects and then we'll duplicate it after we've created all of the components that we need for each object. So, you know, the ball will collide and bounce off. Uh, so let's just get into it. Um, we're going to go into our scene, game object, create other. Uh, we need a box or a cube. And let's label this cube as our brick. And let's set this at position 0, 0, 0, um, just for now. And let's create another uh, sphere this time. And this will be our ball or our player. I'm just going to label it ball. And uh, let's duplicate our brick. You can do that by Control D and change this to be wall. And let's duplicate the wall, Control D. And uh, let's rename this wall as our paddle. All right, and let's go back to our ball and move that at position zero 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 as well. And then let's just kind of, you know, move these guys around to about where the where they'll be in our game. So there's our brick, um, our wall. We're gonna move this guy over here and expand it up a little bit. With again, that's the R button on your keyboard. And uh, just create a simple wall, you know, something like that. Uh, and lastly, our paddle. Let's move that guy down and stretch it out. Just gonna stretch it out, move it down. Uh, and W is to to move your guys around or whatever. Um, that's looking decent. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to add a rigid body component to our wall, and let's just uh, get some collision going with this wall. We're gonna shoot it off in this direction. So let's go to our ball. And again, component, physics, rigid body, and uh, it's looking pretty good so far, right? Uh, you, again, the rigid body has some of the physics stuff that we'll need, the collisions, bouncing off, and uh, all that that we kind of covered already. But what we're also going to do is go into our assets folder, and we're going to import a package, and we're going to import some physics materials. And I'll explain what this is here in a second, but after you click that, you see we have a few different ma materials we can import. Uh, like rubber, metal, ice, wood. Um, but what we're going to use is this bouncy component because that way it will bounce off of objects pretty simply. So let's just add all of these to our game. And we have a new folder called Standard Assets Physics Materials. And so we're going to grab this bouncy and we're going to go up to our Sphere Collider. And under the Materials tab, we're going to drop that into the material. So now that our ball is bouncy, that's pretty awesome, right? And let's just create a standard code for a ball to run into this wall and see if we get a collision. So let's create a new script and just make that happen real quickly. We're going to have a new JavaScript and we're going to say ball uh, script or whatever. Open that up in mono develop and we're just going to shoot our ball into uh, the wall. So that's going to be the negative x direction. So all we're going to do is relate to the rigid body component that we attached and then we're going to say velocity and then we're going to say x is going to be equal to negative 10 each time we call the update method. So that should shoot us in the left direction. And actually what's going to happen, even if we do get a bounce off the wall, um, the second it bounces back, we're going to call this update method. So it's going to continually keep going left. So that's not exactly what we want. We should probably throw this guy into our start method now that I think about it. Uh, just kind of wing in the tutorial here. Okay, so let's save our script and go back into Unity and drop our ball script onto our ball object and we're going to run this guy so it looks like it does bounce off the wall and actually bounces off our platform uh, so that's pretty awesome let's go back to our script real quickly and comment this out uh, because it looks like the bouncing is working I just want to show you something real quickly when we run this it looks like we have gravity applied to our ball as well um, that's not going to be any good for a brick breaker game because obviously you don't want to shoot your ball off and then bounce off. We're never going to hit the freaking bricks. What's going to happen then? Um, it actually looks like our ball's picking up 
extra kinetic energy and bouncing higher each time as well. So it's kind of got some weird things going on. Um, but let's get rid of the gravity, all right? So we're going to click on our ball object, and we're going to go down to this uses gravity, which is uh, checked right now. We don't want to use gravity, so let's run our game now, and it should just hover there. And then we can uncomment our script if we want and test it out again. And it looks like everything's good there. So let's create a new wall. And just going to, again, control D that wall since it seems like it's doing its job. Move it over and control D again. Move it up. Whoops. And move this guy up. And then, then uh, E on your keyboard will bring up the rotational. And we're just going to either, whoa, 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 something like that. Uh, or you can go to the Z axis and rotate it by 90 degrees is probably what you want to do. So that's looking pretty good. Let's grab that guy and hit W. And we got our basic brick, uh, you know, brick breaker layout here. So our ball is working. It's making the collisions, bouncing off. Obviously, we have to send it in a Y velocity as well. And we'll get into that in the next tutorial. But it looks like we have everything set up. Once we create the script for the brick, we're going to just duplicate the brick since everything's attached and we're going to destroy the brick, add some points to our score, all that good stuff. But another thing I just want to mention before we quit is it really comes down to what you're developing for. So if we were going to launch this on iPhone or Android, we might want to move the specifications of our wall um, in a different position here. But since we're in the web development as of right now, just click on the web development and go to like the 16 by 9 um, I don't know. It depends on what you know how you want your game to look, I guess. So maybe let's just pick one. Let's go with the the five by four, and uh, that's looking pretty good. Maybe we want to move our camera angle back a little bit. So let's stop our game and move our camera. I don't know why it's at why is that z one there. We're gonna move the y to zero and the the z to negative. Uh, let's do fifteen. Try that. Uh, let's go. It's getting there. Uh, let's do negative 17. Again, it's really up to you guys how you want to uh, set up the layout. We're just going to work with the programming side of stuff, so that won't really matter. But get your game looking however you want, and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial, and see you then. Sub, 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 subscribe.